full disclosure, I have filmed this video, this might be my fifth time. I'm getting so tongue-tied and I think the reason is because I really want to present this in the most magical, perfect way because at the risk of sounding super hyperbolic and totally cheesy, my dress was completely magical and completely perfect and I just want to do it justice. <laughs> so here we are, I am going to try this again. I am very excited to share with you my amazing Ema Clay Barcelona wedding dress. I waited this long because I wanted to get the official uh, photos from our incredible photographer Albany Katz whose information I'll put below so you can follow her on Instagram and also if you're not following me on Instagram get ready I am about to like drop so many photos so make sure you follow me over there as well and thank you for being here I'm really excited to share this with you clearly so a quick recap of how I got to this place I was supposed to get married two years ago we had this grand plan to get married in Hawaii I went on a huge shopping uh, adventure to try to figure out what kind of dress I was gonna wear I will leave the playlist to all those below because it's kind of at least for me it would be interesting to go back and see what kind of dresses I was drawn to from the very beginning. So during that like shopping extravaganza, I ended up getting a backup dress from Show Me Your Moo Moo, which ironically two years later my mom got her dress at and I got my like Friday night rehearsal outfit from. And then also I went to Beholden and they were so lovely and there's a video above of me recently trying on the dress that I ultimately ended up getting from them. It was very beautiful and and uh, very Cinderella-y and really quite pretty, but I will say I never had that moment of like, yes, this is the one. In fact, I chose a different one and said, yes, this is the one in store, and then I got home and I was like, wait, is that the one? And then I slipped on it, and the next night I was like, maybe it's this other one, and like, I don't know, it was just never 100% like, yes! Um, and then the pandemic hit and we had to cancel our wedding. And then that dress just sat up at my dad's house and I never really thought about it. Cut to two years later, we're planning our wedding, which ultimately ended up being so perfect. And I really do think everything happens for a reason. And we weren't meant to get married in Hawaii. Um, this was where we were meant to get married and this is how we were meant to get married and with the people, et cetera, et cetera. There'll be one more wedding content video coming soon now that we have this great, uh, collection of photos I feel like it would be really fun to do kind of like a more in-depth walkthrough of everything we did and all the vendors we used and show you guys pictures and answer questions so if you want to see that let me know for sure down below anyways when it came time to thinking about what I was gonna wear I like instantly knew I did not want to wear the beholden dress and that dress was so kindly gifted to me that there was obviously a little bit of guilt not wearing it because that's me and I feel guilty about literally everything. Um, and so I knew I wanted to like figure out what the look was going to be for me. And I just wanted something unique. I wanted something like that shouted Lisa and I just wanted to get that like feeling. Um, and I didn't know if that feeling was necessarily like going to happen or if that was just like a movie thing but I was holding on to hope so um, I started kind of going down a rabbit hole on Instagram basically what I did is I started looking up weddings that were at the same venue that we ended up choosing for our wedding which is a brilliant and easy way to find some really great vendors who had already worked at that venue so who knew the space very well who knew each other very well we basically copied someone else's wedding which again I'll tell you guys about in the next wedding video but I did see a bride who was wearing not this exact dress but a very similar version of this dress and that's how I came upon Ema Clay Barcelona the designer that I ultimately ended up going with you guys shopped with me online we basically window shopped Ema Clay's uh, full collection online and I'll leave that link above as well and I don't remember if we actually saw this dress on there if I like had clicked on or not um, but I quickly came to find this dress and quickly came to fall in love with it and the process obviously was very interesting because they were located in Barcelona and I wasn't about to get on a plane although they say many brides do do that which is insane but 
very cool. So I reached out to them on Instagram and we instantly became very uh, friendly and awesome together as a team. And I knew that they wanted to come out here to LA to do a pop-up shop. So I offered to help with that. And so we sort of built this like working friendship relationship. Anyways, the process was really, really, really cool. And I cannot recommend working with them enough if you are on the hunt for a special experience. Basically what happened is I went on their website and I picked out about four or five different dresses that I wanted to see kind of like in person. And then we did a video like, I think it was Skype or it was something um, where we were able to video chat and I got to meet the designer and her lovely husband David and they showed me around the showroom and I kind of got to feel like I was like there in this amazing showroom that they have in Barcelona and they kind of like briefly walked me through some of their dresses and then they were like well let's set up a proper appointment we would love for your mom to also be on skype with us and we'll have one of our models come in and she can try on the dresses that you want to see like on and at first i was like i i mean i can see them in the picture like I, it feels like i didn't want them to have to like hire someone to come in to do that like I don't know, I just felt like that felt like overkill, but I was like, you know what? They're suggesting it and they're kind of pushing it, so okay, and I'll have this experience with my mom. Now, here's a little bit of a bummer and I feel really bad about this. I recorded that session, that second one with the model on the other side and my mom and I watching, and here's a picture of us, but I had an issue with my computer recently and I have lost the footage and I'm really quite heartbroken about that because I held on to that footage for quite some time and it was really special because the model had put on all the dresses and they were really really beautiful and the model was gorgeous and you know it, it was actually amazing to see it in person rather than just a picture because you could really see how the dress moved you could see how the dress went on then she put on the dress my dress and I cried like I straight up cried like I was like that's the one and I cried I was not expecting it it was bonkers I had the moment and it was perfect and I was like that just looks like me like that it I mean the model didn't look like me Jesus I wish I looked like that model she's gorgeous but the dress like just literally screamed to me it was everything um I didn't even realize I wanted and it was perfect. So from there, the next session, we uh, did another video chat and my mom measured me per Ema's request. So we, she literally like walked us through and she showed us how to do it on her model. And then my mom did it on me and my mom told me afterwards, she was like so nervous that she was like gonna screw it up. It was like kind of a stressful thing, but it was real fun. So my mom measured me. And then from there, um, basically I just sort of like, waited I never tried the dress on but it was being made to my you know measurements and then I got this email and the email was from the woman who was hand sewing it for me and she was like just want to let you know it's coming along great and then they sent me all these pictures of my dress being made you could see because it had my name and my measurements it was like such a pleasant surprise that I was like not imagining what happened just so many like fun beautiful details uh that ema clay does for the brides and um what happened next oh okay so then the pop-up was gonna happen so they sent me a shipment of all of their dresses uh for me to hold on to so when they came out here i could pass off all those dresses and also make a video of me trying on all their collection which i did and you guys can see above but i did not try on the dress and i didn't want to even unbox the dress so i never opened it but i think it was in the suitcase like the sample of my dress but i didn't want to like see it and I didn't want to spoil the experience for myself. So then it cut to a couple weeks later, David, the husband of the designer, came out here. He hand delivered my dress and I cried and cried and cried and was just so excited to try it on. And um, 
it fit me like a glove. It was perfect. The only thing I ended up having to do was get it hemmed a little bit. But beyond that, it was amazing. And then you guys saw I had the challenge of trying to figure out what kind of bra to wear under it. That was the only other thing. It's like, I'm not super comfortable with not wearing a bra. Um, and so I tried on a bunch of like adhesives, which you guys saw. And as it turns out, those were really like that boob tape stuff. I know people swear by it, but my skin was like not having it. And I only had had that on for like 45 minutes. So had I worn that the whole night, I think like I I think my whole skin would have been ripped off. But I did end up finding, I think this is it, and I'll try to link it below. I got a few um, of these like sticky on booby stuff from, I got these from Target. I straight up post made it this. <laughs> or Target shopped. I think it's called shipped. Um, and it was so funny. It's this like young kid delivered it to me and, and he looked like he didn't know anything about bras. And I was like, hey, good job shopping my bras. He's like, yeah, I had to get some help for that. So anyways, these are the ones that I ended up uh, wearing, which are just like these stickies. And then they have, um, what's this one I ended up wearing? Actually, nope, this wasn't. I wanted this to work, this wasn't. The one I ended up wearing, I'll link below, I must have thrown it out. Um, actually, there's a great picture, which I will share shortly, of me uh, ripping my bra off on the dance floor, <laughs> because that's who I am. Um, but it was more of, um, it was the same idea where it had the stickies here, but it had more of like a wrap around and it had padding in it. And actually worked really, really well. And it was from Target, so again, I'll leave that link below. Anyways, this is all to say I am happy to um, finally share this dress with you. Ladies and gentlemen, um, my dress? Ah, I love it so much! I ended up going with a two-piece dress, which I think for my body type was like the perfect thing to do because I'm so short. I don't know. The proportions just like worked out perfectly. And honestly, I've been working so hard on my fitness and I was like just proud of myself. I'm a 38 year old bride rocking this dress out with like two abs. I got two abs in there and I was proud of that. <laughs> and actually I just got this dress dry clean. So I thought I would show you guys a little bit up close. So many elements of this I love. Obviously the two piece, I feel like it's just also very much my style. I feel like I've worn two pieces to some of my like red carpet events and I always feel good in it and I always love how it looks on camera. So here is the beautiful top. As you guys can see, this um, is what really sold me was this daisy floral print uh, lace. And um, Ima Clay, she goes, or Ima, she goes to um, Paris and gets this lace. And sometimes she even has them like uh, make it for her. Like she kind of designs the style. So I loved this. I loved this delicate sort of shoulder situation. Um, and then as you could see, I mean, it's very thin. So this is why I needed to wear a bra underneath. And that was that. And then the bottom, I won't take out because it won't even do justice, but just like such beautiful, delicate lace. Um, the dress was really lightweight and I just loved it so very much. It was perfect. And now I don't know what to do with this because I don't want to just have it hang in my closet forever. I do kind of want to like wear it again, which I know maybe is weird, but that top I can wear all the time. And I felt like, the skirt, I guess I will just leave it as a skirt, but part of me was like, should I make it pants? <laughs> like it's like sexy 70s pantsuit. Um, I don't know, I don't know. But again, I'll post a million bajillion pictures cause I just like loved it so much. And I ended up pairing it. You guys saw this week, I showed you my shoes. If you miss that up here, I'll, up here, I always forget. I'll post the, repost the video of me showing you guys my shoes, but I did a, great white cowboy boot and then I went barefoot down the aisle and then at nighttime it was cold so I paired this dress with a um, thread up faux fur jacket and I'll try to find something similar and look up the brand for you but it fit me like a glove I think it was a petite size so like everything actually fit me it was amazing and I got it for very cheap um, so yeah 
That's it. Did I do it? Did I explain everything right? I'm trying to think if there was like any more details. I mean, just again, like the the customer service that was Ema Clay was like so amazing. Um, with the letter that came, with the pictures. Oh, and even before they started making my dress, the dressmaker like emailed me to introduce herself. Like, just the whole thing was just so magical and perfect. Oh, and like everyone that saw me in the dress, even like my uh, seamstress who uh, shortened it for me, who I've been going to for years, she was like, this is just so you. And all my friends were like, that dress is just so you. Like, there was no question that this was the dress that was meant for me and the wedding that was meant for me, and the husband that was meant for me. Aw, Lisa, shut up. Anyways, I'm happy that I finally get to share it with you guys. Thank you so much for going on this dress journey with me, and um, yeah, and happy day 11 of Vlogmas. Oh my gosh, I'm actually really just having so much fun doing this with you guys, so. Thank you for everything, and I'll see you Monday. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. You're about to get inundated with so many dress pictures. Okay, thanks guys, I love you.